and welcome back to our playthrough of Exile Escape on the Pit. Last time we cleared out the remote temple, got a nice point of mage lore for every character, which was uh, really, really good. We tried to fight the Hmong demon. That did not go very well at all. <laughs> um, yeah, we, uh, we don't have much luck with the demons yet. Um, even though we are getting kind of high, I, well, not high, but Spork is level 16, Chungus is 15, Kodak is 11, Sniz was 10, Autumn is a very sad, sad 7, um, yeah, and Petra is 14. So, what are we going to be doing in this episode? Well, I want to go to Katra and see if we can find a mage, uh, who might sell us a spell that we can buy uh for one of our mages um well for all mage we, we only have one mage so we're, we're gonna go there uh really quick and then um once we do that we're gonna head back north and try to find the last dungeon uh that is up there which is supposed to be some sort of uh uh, well, I mean, yeah, I'm, you know, we'll find it and then we can, uh, you know, be a nice, uh, surprise, so. Uh, we gotta fight these guys first, and I actually need to buy ammunition, uh, for Snizzle. Um, yeah, we got, like, three ales left, so. Not, uh, not great, but. So we'll probably head back to Silver, um. Might actually le level up some. Yeah, we might do that as well. I was hoping to... Let's see, zero skill points. Oh, okay, so auto, so Petra can get a level 7 mage spell. Awesome. Okay, that's what we, we were cu curious about. Uh, yeah. Because I don't know if the last dungeon up north is very difficult. And I don't really... I haven't looked into it, I just know it's like, it's up there somewhere. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. I'm trying to give Autumn the final blow on some enemies, but... Oh, okay, nice. She got some experience. That's good. Um... I don't use this enough. I don't think we can reach the mage though. Yeah, we can't reach the mage. All right. Uh, usually to... get autumn experience, I, I cast haste on all and then just let her like... Cool. Oh, well, little uh, usually just cast a wound like as many times as it takes to kill the enemy. So, for example, might be too far away. Yeah, we're too far away. Uh, cast it on ourselves. Okay, well, this did not go as planned, but we can just move, move, move up. It's fine. Everything's fine. Here we go. Okay. So yeah, like, level 3 haste is just really, really good. Like, 12 AP, we can literally cast this like three times. XA2. Did not kill all. Oh, I guess did not kill the, uh, the, the shaman. No. I think it's a shaman. It's a priest, priest, okay. One more time. There we go, 693. Almost level 8. Kind of depressing. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so now we have to rest at Katra again, but that's fine though. Yeah, so sorry for that, uh... Um, kind of slowing down of the uh, plot, but... Yeah, so there's supposed to be a mage somewhere... I think uh, maybe like the tavern. 
that might sell us a spell because sometimes I, I forget to actually like try to buy stuff. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, so we can buy Firestorm, which is, well, I mean, we're going to go ahead and buy it, and that's not even a question. Expensive, but worth it though. Firestorm is a level 6 spell. Okay, so that is expensive. It has a range of 14, though. That is actually the second highest range of any spell that we know of so far. Uh, in Venom is 20. But yeah, so this is pretty cool. We can uh, re read what it does really quick. Um, of course, it does fire da damage, though. So against demons, it's probably not going to be very good. But this spell is like fireball, but does more damage and affects all creatures within two spaces of the space you target. Yeah, so it's basically like take fireball and just like make it battle. Um, crazy. <laughs> Um, level development. Okay, so maybe this is actually how mana is calculated. So if we were level 15, it would be 15 divided by 5 would be 3 mana. Is that how it works? I don't know. Yeah, so this is going to be awesome. Uh, I'm surprised it took us th this long to uh, do it, but I, I didn't know it was heal. Um, I, re I read up, so... Uh, we got we we have it now though. So, and let's actually see if we can get a room. We can. Um, we could get another one. I I I suppose. But now we are ready to go up north and try to find the last dungeon up there. And then once we do that, we can finally head south and uh, do all the stuff down there. And that, I think, really is where most of the game is. Uh, I think we're at probably about 20... 20, uh, 25 hours of playtime. About that. So, the rest of the game is like... I don't know, it's, it, it's, like, it's like a 60 hour game, I think, so... Yeah, so I'm gonna go up north, and I will see you guys once we find the dungeon. Okay, so, I think this is it. Uh, we missed this the first time that we came through here. Might have missed some other stuff, but... Yeah, so let's go ahead and go in. Uh, we have pretty much max on health and spill points. And we did not level up, but we can do that when we get back. It's, uh, it's fine. Uh, these friendly, by chance? Wait, this is a town? Okay, now I am actually tripping. Like... Yeah, I guess we need to talk to these guys. You find a small Asian woman with waist-length hail. She seems to be mixing up some poison. Hmm. Greetings, I'm Yang Mi. Getting ready to enter the crypt? It'll be a tough haul. Nasty and dangerous, she sighs. But better than the alternative. Okay, what is the alternative? Well, I could be on the surface. I went into exile voluntarily. I may be the only one. Let's just say there was a marriage I wasn't interested in being a part of. She looks at the substance she's grinding carefully. Then she smiles. It's hard to get quality ingredients. Interesting, okay. I guess she was a part of a, in a, in, in an arranged marriage. That probably would have been very unhappy. Uh, let's see. Ingredients. I've had best luck with the poison glands of Asp. Asp were hard to find, but their fangs make powerful poison. If you can find me a recipe, I'll teach you mine. If you can find a recipe. Oh, okay. I'll teach you mine, but, well, I don't want to. Sorry. She smiles winningly. Still, they're all better things. What I could really use are some good arrows. Oh, we forgot to buy arrows. Oh, that's fine. 
I should probably go do, do that. Oh my gosh. Um. Yeah, okay. So this place sounds really dangerous. Um. So I think it would be worth it to go back and uh, to Formello. You know, that that's not actually not that far. Uh, if we can buy a map for Mellow, that is, you know, it's not that far. Um, so yeah, so it's a really dangerous crypt. Um, I'm not sure what she's going to do with the poison. Like, I, I assume if it's a crypt, it's filled with undead. And, uh, usually the undead will poison resistant, but maybe not. Um, who knows? Let's see. Bye. Okay. Uh, snizzle. And buy a bunch of these. In fact, you know what? We are going to. What do you. What are you killing? Lockpicks. We have too many lockpicks, probably. Give the. Uh, give the lightning rods to Autumn for now. And then you can buy more arrows. Okay, it seems like there's always some delay when I uh, try to do a dungeon, but hopefully this uh, isn't taking too long. Head back up there. Oh yeah, we need to talk to the other, to the other guy as well. Um, I almost completely forgot that he was just like standing there. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, save the game. Okay, let's talk to him, uh, the priest. A middle-aged man with a scratchy beard and battled almost sits warming himself by a file. He has a holy symbol and a dented mace. He nods. They call me Guli. He grunts. I and Yang Mi are adventurers. I'm trying to get into the crypt. That's defiant. That's definitely what it is. I can sense the torment of, of the souls beyond. We hope to liberate them from their unholy bondage and pick up a treasure or two in the bargain. Hmm. Okay, so the adventures. Um. I'd be honest. I'm not sure you guys would be able to do it with just the two of you. But you got a priest, though. I guess that's about the best that you could do against the undead, so maybe they could. But yeah, that's, um... I just realized this could be locked. Um, we might not be able to do this. Bang. Hmm. Bang. Uh, okay, we actually might be done with the north, then... I don't think we can unlock this. Darn. Okay, we could. Okay, now well, there's something around here. Okay, there's not. Oh. Save the game. There is a level in, in the wall. You pull the level down, as soon as you let go of it, it starts to move back up. Okay, so that opened that. Is there anything on this side? No. Wait, as soon as you pull it down, it moves back up? Does that imply that once we move in here, we're going to get locked in? I don't know. This is making me kind of scared. And this is an expensive spell to just be casting constantly. But... Okay, um, let's actually make a new save. Or oh, use a different save. Just in case we get trapped. Yeah. This is a cool place though. I like the design. Oh my gosh, why is it so dark? I feel like, uh, are we supposed to be using torches or something? I don't think we have any. 
Okay. Casting light over and over again would be just ridiculous. So maybe we just have to explore it like this. Okay, there's some water there. Lock the doors. Okay. I don't know how many there are. So I'm not sure if we should use any group spills or not. What's the problem? Can't see the target. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Uh, Autumn is low on hills. On who? Eh, not that low though. Okay, I should have done the other one. That was like point pointless. Uh, just a fan. Let's see what they can do. I think that's it. Okay, it was just one. Uh, okay, this is not going to be a fun dungeon. <laughs> uh, anytime you're limited with uh, how much you can see, that's uh, that's not a good sign. It was like water on each side. Lots of doors. Of course, it's equipped. I guess you would expect that. That is a long hallway. Another pond. There's a bridge there. Okay. Wait, is that just like a chasm? That's really weird, because it's like, it, it's, oh crap, okay. Uh, stuns, okay, um, I don't know what that, exactly, I mean, I assume we can't do anything for Torm? Okay, got it. Defend. Okay, I think that's it, okay, okay. Nope. Okay, defend, defend. Okay, this ain't bad, this ain't bad. Got two of them. Okay, uh, defend. What is that? A skeleton, okay. Skeleton, hmm. Okay, he's pretty, pretty weak. I would have cast Firestorm if I knew there were this many. In fact, um... We have like a... a it costs one mana. Uh, it's gonna go, go, go away soon, but at least we can see now. For a little while. Okay, that's it. Yeah, and then, and then it goes away. Another skeleton. Okay, the skeletons aren't anything to really be afraid of, it seems. I feel like it's gonna get really hard though. Like this just seems too. Um, what do you mean? Okay, it seems too uh, easy. I, I I don't know. Just. I mean, obviously you can't see. That's not easy. But so far the the enemies all pretty fine. Very uh, doable. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's pretty much just equipped. Yeah. Lots of, uh, lots of rooms that we probably need to visit at some point. That's probably where the, uh, the powerful stuff is, is inside the actual crypts. I would think. Okay, and this is just the main, uh, middle area. <clears throat> Another hallway, yep. Ooh, okay, we ain't... I don't think we can mess with that. Uh, yeah, it's just, just the order to spook us out. Skeleton. That's some, yep, okay. Can't 
Okay, got some gold. Uh, let's just head this way. Uh, they came behind us. Interesting. And it seems to pretty much just be like a repeating pattern. As far as I, I, I can tell. You could also do a detect life if you really wanted to. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, you could do detect life if you really wanted to see enemies in the dark. Can't see them. Okay. Coming behind us. I think that's it. Cost two mana. Mm -hmm. We actually have plenty of spell points. Um, cast light for a second so we can actually see what's going on. Petra actually killed him with a with a weapon. That's that's funny. Oh, okay. I didn't see him now. Okay, one one more time. There we go. And the light is gone. Great. Yeah, this is a trip. Like maybe there was something, some item that I was supposed to uh, pick up to uh, help with this. But I mean, this is kind of walking, I suppose. They are spawning like non-stop though. We can't really do anything. Oh yeah, we, we, we should look at these bodies. That's it. Okay, so this is just like a place where they dump the corpses. I'm not sure who, but because, uh, you know, it, it's a crypt. It's filled with undead creatures. I don't know why they would be... Uh, afraid of, like... Disease. You guys are all disease. Is that, is that it? Oh gosh, okay. Okay, is that... I'm, I'm curious if there's more. Okay, so this is when you uh, use something called Firestorm. Now, we might not actually be able to aim it. Um, because we can't see what we're aiming at. So we might have to cast a light with... Autumn, and then cast Firestorm with Petra. That could walk, I suppose. Of course, light for Autumn is two mana points, and it's only one for Petra. So, in, in regards to mana, Autumn is definitely the lowest. So I think we defend with Autumn. And Petra, you go ahead and cast light. Let's see if you, if you can just cast it without being able to see what you're looking at. You can't. Okay, cast light. And now let's see if we can do it. You can't see... What do you mean you can't see the target? This is ridiculous. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to get to it, I guess. Try, try it out for a while. That's that's okay. Um, maybe you can cast Fireball, at least heal. Like, surely you can see, see that. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. Ooh. It's a ghoul. We haven't fought one of those before.
good chance to uh, cast this. That was pretty good damage, like, pretty, pretty good spell. And actually, you know, Chungus has the, um, let's see, Spolky has the Seal of Ox, so he's actually protected against the undead to some degree. Uh, that's something that I didn't really th th think about, uh, uh, but, but we do have that advantage. I think it just gives you, like, a defense uh, bonus, I, I guess. There are a lot of these guys, like... I think, I think that's it. Uh, let's detect... I mean, this is... You know, that's an expensive spell, though. To be completely honest. Um, according to this, I think we're safe. So let's save the game and let's go up, y'all. Oh, it's lava! Cool! We can we can actually see. That was a mistake. Hmm. I guess we need to be closer. Seems like a bad idea to get in the mage in melee range, but I think it was worth it. You could do this for now. Guess I guess there's only one left though. Okay. Uh, I think that's it actually. Did get any loot? That's okay. I think that lava is like basically the only light source in the entire crypt, it seems. Uh, okay, okay, so it's, yeah, yeah, then it's, yeah, okay, then it connects, okay. This is probably the main door. So I would say, as painful as, as it would be to go back and probably fight respawning mobs, we really should start probably heal and then kind of walk our way up to the store i would say uh so we might be able to just go through the center and then maybe they haven't respawned yet okay cool we might not be able to actually open these that's uh, a possibility as well okay sorry sorry about that um yeah so we might not be able to actually open these Oh, we can. That's cool. 